What's going on everybody? Guess what I'm about to do? I am about to drive two of my dream cars. When I say two of my dream cars, it's just basically one of them. All you gotta do is have the word Rolls Royce and that'll be my dream car. Look at that. What we're gonna do today is let you understand the difference between these two and also put you in the wheel behind these cars just to see how they both drive. How awesome is that? So we gotta get an opportunity to hear from an expert. She can't go live on camera. However, she's gonna be giving me a lot of the details as it relates to these cars. The Ghost and the Phantom. The details on these cars or what you really pay for and in case you haven't paid attention to that yes that's a double r on the lights double r right there that never gets turned upside down so we're going to get in these cars and go for a, for a test drive and give you all the inside view and yes that's a double r right there on it as well one of the things that I also wanted to kind of do, if you roll up on one of these cars, how can you tell what the differences are? So if you're looking at the back of this car, which is a ghost, and then you look at the back of a Phantom, would you be able to tell what you're driving behind? One of the details of some of the super luxurious cars is that you don't see the name on any of them. So how would you be able to tell which one is a ghost, which one is a Phantom, that's what I'm gonna help you understand today. When they both are Rolls Royce, how can you tell which one is which? Now don't even get it confused. You'll be happy to get in either one of them and own either one of them, but both of which have quite a few differences. The width of this one is a little boxier than this one. So the Ghost is a little more narrow than the Phantom. Additionally, you will see some of the chrome trimmings on the back of the window on the Phantom, which gives it that more classy look, more upscale look than the Ghost. And not to mention, if you look at the headlights on this Ghost versus the headlights on the Phantom, the horsepower of the two is the same. 563 horsepower. However, the Ghost is 627 pound feet of torque and 664 pound feet of torque on the phantom it's a much heavier car so of course it's going to probably need a little some something, something more to push it down the road the engines are pretty much both the same but of course different tuning of that engine so we're going to get in these cars and have a good time driving them and show you what the inside look like, kind of give you a view of what they actually look like on the inside. And of course, you know it's a land yacht on both of them, just to see what's going on as well and how it feels. Now, the one thing I do want to kind of highlight that kind of stands out, if you, even if you're in the front of them, is clearly the difference in the two grills. So that is the Phantom, which has that more outstanding grill versus the ghost's grill you can see the grill on the phantom is definitely sitting higher the the car just simply sits higher on the phantom than it is than the ghost but the one thing on the new ghost is that no that the spirit of ecstasy that's what this is the spirit of ecstasy is on the hood also known as the bonnet whereas the previous versions had it on the grill so i'm not sure if they're going to change the grill and the hood for the phantom as well but as you can see it's definitely a difference even if you just wanted to kind of get a glimpse of me right here beside it right here beside it you'll see the weight of it right here is on me like this is me hello everybody right here on the is literally over my hip versus if you go over here so this is a really good measurement if you look at it right now you could definitely tell the difference in the hood right so this is where it was on the 
this is where it was on the phantom and this is where it is on the ghost so you can definitely see a huge difference so hopefully this helps more details to come This is the extended wheelbase version of the Rolls Royce. It's 20 inch rims. And oh my God, look at that interior. Baby blue footrest. Oh my God. The question is, do I suppose to sit in the front or to sit in the back? <laughs> look at that bad boy right there. Look at that bad boy. It's just bananas. And in case you were curious of how soft this is, it's real soft. <laughs> it's real soft. Look how look how thick my whole fingernail is gone. And of course they do have the starlight ceiling. Alright, well we are in the Rolls Royce Ghost. We're in the Rolls Royce Ghost. You see the lights at the up top. And we are about to close the door. This one. And that's what we're doing. And this is the button that you pull to do that. And I'm assuming the start button is this one over here. Yes. Foot on the press. Seatbelts, everybody. All right, so if you're looking at the interior right here, one of the cool things about the interior, you see a lot of displays, but just as much as you see the displays here, a lot of them can be adjusted. Even this is an LCD, correct? Yeah, so and this, this won't be adjusted. This is just um, an option, a new option for the car. Okay. And that's the screen right here. Clearly, that could be adjusted to do different things to have a different look. Touch, touch screen now. All right. And is it swipe left and right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Kind of get to the other. Uh, yes, you should be able to. Sorry. <laughs> Why it's not exactly working at this point, but there you go. Yep. And you'll be able to click on the different options within here. All right. And then does the screen here change any, or this is pretty much static? Yeah. Okay. And clearly you have the nice spirit of ecstasy right here on the control. All right, people, I want to show y'all something that is super crazy, super crazy. So this is the quote unquote iDrive feature of the Ghost, Rolls Royce Ghost. But what it does is even though you have this button that you can press in and twist around, the other cool feature is you can actually type on it, right? So this is the navigation as an example. Watch what I do. All right, I'm gonna use my hand just so you can kind of see. Here we go. All right, here we go again. And I typed in a B. I don't know if you all can see that, but I typed in a B. And then I'm gonna type in something else. All right? Let's do it again. It's letting you know that these are the only options for this second letter based on what's happening over here. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So pretty much if I was, it actually went to that city. So if I went to my city, so let's go back or whatever, it'll allow you to do it. But either way, let me just, just write an R, right? And so now, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to type in another letter, and this is going to be at least E. E. Isn't that awesome? Let me do a T. T. And I'm literally writing this on this little screen. And so whatever the case may be, now it use that as the thing. So now I'm gonna type in the number. How awesome is that? We gotta go. So, One, two, <laughs> and I'm literally typing this. Good thing I got good hand penmanship. Okay, whatever it is, I guess that's it. And then of course California. I guess I just type it in. Oh, that's it. I'm not going to California. So pretty much, if I need to go to Texas, I just go to Texas city i'm not gonna put my city in it but that's pretty awesome i wonder what that's for what that image is for but either way so this pretty i just put in austin just for the sake of typing something and 
that's back. So S T T I N. <laughs> and you press it. How awesome is that? So it's a pretty dope feature. And then the next thing, if you want to type in, let's assume you want to go, let's just do Highway 183, right? H that it found the options just for me using my finger to type i had to increase the height of the seat because i had to get into the rolls royce authority position you know now one of the things one of the cool things that that my good specialist told me is that this car has this thing called planar and that planar basically does a scan of the road above us and the whole system, that suspension system, allows you to kind of anticipate bumps in the road so this car will always stay even. By the way, I don't know if you see that flickering in front of me. That's heads up display. And so we're in, a, we're in a ghost. But the cool thing about the planar suspension system is it always makes you re completely reduces the bumps that you feel on the road. And this thing is freaking floating. It's just floating. This is the 2021 Rolls Royce Ghost. And one of the things I want to show y'all is the ability for this thing to, to move. Now, we're already going like 55 miles per hour, but when you got 563 horsepower, it can do some movement. It can move. It absolutely can move. I think we... And so we're on the we're on the highway right now, rolling, and just the features of the of everything is just amazing, absolutely amazing. We're going from zero to sixty, and we're at sixty. I don't know if that was four seconds, but it was super fast. That was really really fast in a big car of this magnitude, this size. Absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. So if you look in the dash, you actually have lane assist. Um, that little green button right there. I don't know if you can tell what it is, but it basically allows you to review the um, the lane assist in case you don't use your your, your signal light. So I'm about to change lanes right now to see if I feel anything. I'm not sure if I feel something, but. I'll assume I did. Let's go with that. Here we go. This is the key to the ghost. You can see beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Key to the bottom of the back side. Spirit vector is view there. As well as speaker system there as well. And in case you all want to see different ways you can close the car even on the outside, automatic the doors, you just press this button. They close on their own. And it's a soft close. One of the things that I did want to test getting into the ghost was the ability to, to see how I look back here. Of course, this is a lot of footwork, a lot of room, a lot of room, as you can see. So at the end of the day, you can kind of see different ways you can, different ways you can see your feet, et cetera, et cetera. So that's how it pretty much can almost lay they pretty far back. You got the, the view right here on the screens. More obsidian wood here. Let me put that back up. As well as you can see, I got a lot of room. And this one actually has the part that allows you to push your feet up. So, um, so that's, <laughs> that's just amazing. Beautiful blue in the back as well. And in case you want to see some of the, the glassware with the double R in them, that's that one. Another get bottle here with the special Rolls Royce on the top right there. So that's awesome as well. Put that back. And of course you got a little cooler right here with similar thing with the 
more glassware here so how awesome is that so once again just luxury beyond belief and that's the refrigerator still wood all right here you can literally feel the grain um, the control right here too so a really good view back here all right so i wanted to show you all the starlight view and i don't know if y'all can see that but oh my goodness so this is from my angle here of course but the starlight view you can actually press the button and some of the lights come on right here then of course you can kind of see it above. Now the one thing that I was asking the expert, I was like, well, guess what? If you have the ability to put a moon roof in here and maybe the starlights back here, would you be willing to do that? But they say they just simply don't do that just yet. So maybe another time, maybe another year. But this is the 2021 Rolls Royce Ghost.